Hi and welcome to this week's look at news in natural health on iHealthTube.com. Well, are some of the newest drug therapies in cancer making progress in that fight? Maybe not, according to a recent study out of London. Of 68 cancer drugs approved in Europe between 2009 and 2013, more than half failed to show evidence that they extended survival or improved quality of life. And after a median of five years on the market, only eight drugs had shown gains in either category. The results led the lead author to suggest we are falling short in the development of new therapies, considering the expense and toxicity of the drugs and the expectation of improved results. When most of us hear the word potassium, we think bananas. Well, now we're learning more about the benefits of those for our heart. A study from Alabama found that bananas, avocados, and other potassium-rich foods can help protect against pathogenic vascular calcification, commonly known as hardening of the arteries. The mouse study showed that reduced dietary potassium led to elevated aortic stiffness. But when researchers increased potassium, those levels of calcification and aortic stiffness decreased. More importantly, researchers learned the mechanism underlying the link to high or low potassium. The study illustrates the importance of dietary potassium for the prevention of issues that could lead to heart disease. Finally, with incidents of autism increasing, researchers continue to try to get a handle on the condition. Now a new study out of England is showing a possible connection to the use of multivitamins during pregnancy. The study sampled more than a quarter of a million mother-child pairs in Sweden, with the children being born between 1996 and 2007. After adjusting for potentially influencing factors, the results showed that multivitamin use was linked to a lower likelihood of a child with autism spectrum disorder compared to mothers who did not use multivitamins. There was no consistent evidence that either folic acid or iron use were linked to a reduced risk of ASD. The authors said the results shouldn't change current practice during pregnancy, but more study was needed before recommending any such changes. That's a look at headlines in natural health this week. For more, go to iHealthTube.com and sign up for our free email newsletter to stay connected to the latest in natural health.